Hey everyone, Chris here from Valley View Casino Center. Welcome to another episode of POV. This one's very special. We have San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner. This arena sits on land owned by the city of San Diego. So in that way, the arena is one of the city's most important tenants. We work to keep a very strong relationship with the mayor, so we're happy to have him on today. A graduate of San Diego State, he was elected as mayor in 2014. Before that, he was a council member since 2006. He's a very busy man, but he sat down with us for a few questions in the arena's conference room. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for being here. You are a friend to this arena and know that anytime you come here, you can call us. Um, I know you are busy, busy, busy uh, at the mayor's office, so many different priorities. Uh, what are you kind of working on right now? Uh, lots going on at City Hall, but, but first, uh, thanks for having me here today. Um, you know, when we think about uh, the Valley View and what this arena has meant to San Diego for, for literally decades, um, it's a special place. Um, busy time at City Hall, uh, obviously it never slows down, but you know, a lot of momentum, I, and, and I'm very proud of that. And we just passed our, our city budget unanimously, Democrats, Republicans, really with a focus on, on you know, neighborhood infrastructure. Um, you know, moving forward on a street repair, which you and I were talking about earlier. Uh, it means near and dear to my heart. Look, when I was driving in uh, over today right on Sports Arena to see what that has meant for the neighborhood, you know, freshly paved streets. Uh, my goal was to pave a thousand miles in five years or less. We're going to do that in three and a half years. Um, big focus on, on homeless issues right now. So, so obviously a, a lot going on, but but really, you know, my job as mayor is, is to work together with folks um, and to make sure we're putting investments in, in neighborhoods um, and keeping our economy moving. Uh, and so it's an exciting time. And you touched on it there for uh, a couple seconds, you know, the Valley View Casino Center, formerly the Sports Arena, been around for more than 50 years, so many shows, so many sporting events. Uh, I saw you here for Guns N' Roses. What have been some of the other events that you've enjoyed here? Uh, a lot, <laughs> that was a great show. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think one of the, the hallmarks of the arena is it really, you know, it, it runs the gamut. I mean, so, you know, went to San Diego State back in the day. We used to play, you know, Aztec basketball here. Uh, when I think back to not only, you know, great shows like uh, Van Halen I've seen. I've, uh, I've been my family to see Neil Diamond. Uh, brought my kids to see the Wiggles. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, uh, you know, different ends of the spectrum. Um, but so many different things, and, and I think that's that's one of the, again, when, when people think of the arena and, you know, literally through, through generations of, of San Diegans, uh, not too many places can say that. Although, I'll tell you what, one of the most uh, uh, exciting times that I, I had was just a couple years ago when as, uh, you know, when we had the goals here and I got to drop the, the first puck as mayor, and to see just the energy, um, the vibrancy, um, you know, what the goals have, have done for, for San Diego and for, and for this arena, I mean, it's, it's terrific. And uh, our general manager, Ernie Hahn, passes his uh, hello. I'm sure it's good for you to say hello to him when you arrive. Yeah, it's always great to see Ernie. And you know what the Hahn family ha has meant. And, uh, and I'll tell you, um, you know, it doesn't happen by accident, right? To, to, to attract the variety of uh, events that we have in this building. And again, something for all ages. Um, so Ernie's one of the best, uh, and the best in the country and uh, can't say enough about the Hahn family. And for you, uh, you're halfway through your second term. Uh, I know now you're starting to look at um, how you're going to leave the city. Um, what what do you kind of see on the horizon uh, for the city of San Diego? How do how do you sort of want to leave your legacy? Uh, you know, I'm not so worried about legacy as opposed to uh, getting you know, exciting things across the finish line, and we'll, we'll leave legacy for for later stuff. But you know, right now there's there's a lot of things we're working on. Um, really making it easier to, to get housing that San Diegans can afford. I've, I've spent a lot of time on reforms down at City Hall uh, to make that happen. Uh, we're making a lot of changes when it comes to uh, our police department to make sure that we are fully staffed and that we are recruiting and retaining the best officers um, that exist. We're, we're so proud. I've got a new police chief mm -hmm. uh, coming in. Um, I'm going to bring it in a new fire chief. So I, I've really spent a lot of time on hiring good quality uh, individuals. We appreciate what you do, and uh, I hope to see you back here at the arena soon. You will indeed, Chris. Great to see you. Thanks for saying hi. Great. Glad to have the mayor in the building, and we hope to see all of you very soon here at Valley View Casino Center for one of our upcoming shows. We have Latin sensation Bad Bunny on August 25th, Sam Smith September 1st, and did you know the king Elvis Presley performed here three times in his lifetime, November 1970, April 1973, and April 1976. He's even visited our lounge and bellied up to the bar with one of our security guards who happened to be from Elvis's hometown of Tupelo 
Buffalo, Mississippi. That guard found himself behind the wheel of a brand new Cadillac after Elvis bought him one. How's that for a parting gift? And before you go, I hope you follow us on all of our social channels. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We'll see you next time on POV.